Encouraging house price and consumer confidence data helped Wall Street bounce back from an early sell-down overnight, recovering losses sparked by Federal Reserve minutes, indicating the central bank may not be as ready to act as Chairman Ben Bernanke led markets to believe last week. While the good news on the housing price and consumer front helped Wall Street finish August with a modest win, it wasn't enough to avoid major indices posting their worst August performance since 2001 and traders will have to weigh up a slew of critical manufacturing and employment figures in coming days to see if September can be any better for share markets. In our enter trading, the ASX 200 index is 47 points or just over 1% higher for the day, with all sectors enjoying a solid lift, including banks and resources, after those two sectors led gains on Wall Street overnight. Although Australian second quarter GDP figures due for release this morning could prove a swing factor when they are released. In company news, the agricultural sector has received two very differing announcements today, prompting contrasting moves by their company's shares. In the positive side of the ledger, rural services and products distributor Elders has slept over 6% to 68 cents after it won a 13-year-old court battle against the tax office and will receive a payment of $31 million plus interest. However, the response to herbicide maker New Farms market update has not been as favourable, with its shares tumbling nearly 4.5% to $3.68. New Farm confirmed its 2010 profit forecast, but said debt levels will exceed earlier estimates due to late payments by customers. It also said it is continuing talks with its bankers after the higher debt level meant it breached a loan covenant. Also weighing on New Farm, is the fact that America's Monsanto, the world's largest maker of herbicide Roundup, shed almost 6% on Wall Street last night after it gave a disappointing profit forecast. On the currency front, the Australian dollar has held fairly steady in overnight trade and is currently buying 89.26 US cents. This is Sarah Holtman for Bake Young Stockbrokers.